Wow, did you see? This deck is flipping all over the place. Look at what flip. Okay. I knew that I was doing a normal reading for a reason. Look what fell. Flew out the, to the left. To the left, to the left. To, everything in the box. Everything in the box to the left. We got the lovers. Justice. Ten of swords in reverse. Walking away from what no longer serves you. And waiting for your ships to come in. That's also a card about travel. That's a card about waiting. That's a card, a card about someone actually taking the time to look out. We got the Knight of Cups falling on the lovers. We have the Emperor here. Transformation Energy, Scorpio. Possible passing in the family. This is somebody who you could have had... You thought maybe had a lot of options or something, but look at the rainbow and castle here. Maybe maybe those those options are going to be for the both of you. We have uh, the the knight of wands, which is a wounded warrior, but this is like you know saying the battle's over. But not only that, it's like you made it through. You made it through this battle. So the nine could be significant, and I'm saying that because this nine's coming out also. Nine of swords is sometimes just depression, sleepless nights. So I'm not sure if that's what you have been going through with this argument or breakup here. Uh, or fighting people off with the five of wands. There was conflict, there was five of pentacles, so there was like a little bit of depression, sadness over this. Five fives are change, nine nine. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, someone holding back from you, or the Queen of Pentacles here holding back from them. That could be one scenario, or the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords could be. You, collective, whoever, you know, or male or female, whoever's watching a male or female for this story. Uh, if you're in the Empress energy. Otherwise, there might have been a third party, Queen of Pentacles. Um, yeah. Or Queen of Swords, you know what I mean? Okay, so we got the Ten of Pentacles, generational wealth this person wants with you. There was a Seven of Swords, so there was third party cheating... Lying, stealing something. You know what they say about that card. It's not the greatest. That's probably why somebody was in the Nine of Swords. And then the Ten of Swords came out. I haven't seen the Eight of Swords yet. Which is like someone's either stuck on you or thinking about you constantly. We have a Knight of Pentacles here. This could be who wants to bring in this justice to you. Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Working on their money or craft or got an ed got another perspective, got educated on something on this. They want to bring you in the Ace of Cups. Take a risk with the Fool card, New Beginning, Virgo. They got a new perspective. Could have been depressed or in the Five of Cups in the past. So 555 five, five is here. So this, uh, this relationship probably needed to separate in order for you to see what needed to be fixed or changed. This is beautiful. We got the Queen of Cups here now. Judgment. So this is judgment for you. Uh, victory. Sound, sound the trumpets. If people misjudged you in the past, you're going to get fair judgment from the universe, from those people. We have somebody who... Did not stop thinking about you. I think you couldn't stop thinking about each other the whole time. This, like, took strength and, like, patience and perseverance and not giving up. That's what that card is. And now you're getting collaboration. Somebody coming in. This is somebody who may want to assist you or just collaborate with you uh, on something. Uh, it could be several things. I don't know why I wanted to say maybe a living um, situation, but I really meant like a job opportunity, 
But it could be collaboration on anything. Okay, so that's a good card to get the Three of Pentacles. Uh, no more stuck energy, I'm guessing. Hangman is the halfway to the fool. So this is in the past. Someone was stuck and then they now they're coming in giving you everything with the sun. That is that's like the best card that you can get. It's the highest it's like you completed everything that you were supposed to do. And look at you're you're definitely gonna be getting rewarded from the universe with uh the the angels definitely ancestors helped you. This is was divine intervention because somebody was in the Knight of Wands, maybe both of you in the past, and could could have been an Aquarius or somebody is a star here. Somebody, um, because whoever got through this or you're maybe doing something that's making you a star. We have a King of Wands and a Queen of Wands right next to each other. I love when they come out together. So the Knight of Wands is no longer in the Knight of Wands. King and Queen of Wands. That's a power couple. When I'm super happy to see that. It's somebody that you already know, obviously, bringing in your justice, wanting to travel towards you now, communication, new beginning. Look how playful this energy is. Bring in your flowers, bring in, you know, and a, this coming out twice. And this. I have two. These are the only two cards in the deck that I have two of, and they both came out twice. With together, like Knight of Pentacles, divine intervention. So, if this is your story, this is divinely guided. But now, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Wands, the Chariot, the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the World, the Moon in Reverse that came out in the last one, and the Empress. The Tower, the Ace of Swords, Communication, Truth and Clarity, Page of Swords, they're watching you, truth, uh, bringing communication, Four of Wands, baby. Look at this, after a heartbreak, right? Or, you, this is a Taurus uh, energy, so we have Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Sagittarius, I think, okay, but this is, this could be marriage, this could also be divorce, because, or both, but here's what happened in the past, you were blindfolded to, bottom of the deck, it could have been somebody who was in the King of Swords, but again, I think this was done to a couple, because we have King and Queen of Wands, King and Queen of Swords. Uh, maybe you were kept apart. That we got a King of Pentacles, and that's who probably that is who wants to bring you this Ace of Pentacles and this new beginning and this justice. Virgo, Gemini energy. Somebody's a, a powerful manifester, or we could have a magician and a and a public powerful leader here. King of Cups. So the King and Queen are both out. Someone had a lot of burdens. It could have been about a home or just bur a lot of burdens put onto them. Maybe they had to take care of a second home too, something like that. Or whatever it is, that could have been part of it. On both of your ends, you may have had burdens. On both ends, third parties, things to tie up. and But you were stuck on each other. I'm stuck on you. Got this feeling down deep in my soul that I just can't lose. Right there, I felt like Lionel. <laughs> victory, six of wands, public recognition. This is a victory card. This is accolades. This is you creating uh, monstrous things is the word coming to my mind. We got the page of wands. That's fast communication. The page of pentacles, fast communication. Earth sign uh, fire sign, fire, these are energies, remember. So they're coming in with offering you possibly money or help with that three of pentacles and passion, a little bit of both. Nine of pentacles, that's what that is. It's, it's success. It's love, money, just two of cups. This is somebody you already know you planted seven of pentacles with. 
you could know what's going on with the high priestess or somebody is a high priestess. We got magician, high priestess, and higher fit in this reading. <laughs> two of wands. So this is like somebody that was put into a... Couldn't make a decision right at the time. You know, and that's understandable. You know, so... Um, but look at all the purple, green, and gold in this card, right? The decision is made. It's you. I do see moving to calmer waters, and I'm going to end it there. This was a good little reading. Hope you liked it. It's uh, kind of the same story that's been going on, but it's consistently staying the same. So let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that it comes in. Don't forget to hit the like button on the way out, guys. And thank you to all my uh, viewers. Appreciate you so much. You can't even believe it. <laughs> thank you.